Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something completely different. We are going to be talking about a Tom Ford eye color quad. Anyway, I hope you guys aren't sick of me at this point, but uh, this is what happens when he releases five quads at the same time. It's an awful lot, uh, but we're on number four. We're gonna be talking about the Sula Sabla uh, quad today. And again, you know, I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point, but in case you haven't seen my other, my previous three, I will just mention that Tom Ford has uh, just come out with five new eyeshadow quads. His eyeshadow quads generally come in two different formulas. He has the wet dry formula and then he has the pressed powder formula which has different finishes, mattes, sparkles, toppers, satins. Um, and the five that he just released are of the pressed powder shadow formula versus the wet dry formula. So this formula is also supposed to be new and improved. And again, I've mentioned this in my previous videos. I don't think that they're necessarily improved. They are different, but I think that they perform very, very nicely. I have not had any issues with blending, with pigmentation. I have all four of the colors on my eyes today. There will be a demo at the end of the video uh, for this eye look. And I really enjoyed using this. So what some of you have been mentioning down in the comments and like on my Instagram feed is that um, you were watching Mel Thompson's video, which I ended up watching. I really tried Try not to watch other people's reviews until I do my review. I really don't want it to sway me, but so many of you were talking about her video, and so I decided to go and watch it. I watch all of Mel's videos, so I knew I was gonna eventually watch it, at least when I was done with all of these, but I thought, let me just go ahead and watch it. And she mentioned uh, with this quad, the Sula Sabla quad, that um, she had, I think, like longevity issues. Am I remembering that correctly? She talked about all five and yeah, I think I'm remembering that correctly, um, that she had issues with, I think the pigmentation for this one, especially the satin shade up here and then the longevity. So what I'm gonna do is leave a note down below in my description box as to how this wore uh, for the rest of the day because I'm not gonna be changing out my makeup today, which is sometimes what I do when I film, but I'm gonna be sticking with this makeup today and I will let you know how this one wore. The other three that I have uh, talked about and have worn the Mink Mirage, the Noir Fumé, and the De La Creme. Those all wore beautifully. They stayed on my lids. I want to say I probably had all four of those quads on, I don't know, around six hours, like at least six hours. I don't want to overstate it, so I'm just going to say six hours to be safe. Um, and they were fine, but I will say this. I do not have oily lids. I never really need to use a primer in terms of longevity. And in fact, my eyelids are so dry, I feel like sometimes when I apply eyeshadow to them, they become it like my eyelids like mummify the shadow to my lids. So I very, very rarely have longevity, moving, creasing. I mean, I also don't really have, when I'm tired and my skin gets less taut, um, I will have more folds in my eyelid like that more folds in my eyelids and then sometimes i'll see some creasing but other than that like right now when i blink i don't have a lot of folds so i also can't talk about creasing that much anyway i'm getting off topic but i did want to say that i generally don't have problems with longevity in terms of eyeshadows again i just use like concealer down on my lids i powder to set that concealer and that's it that's all i have on my lids they're extremely dry and things just kind of like adhere to my lids. So I just wanted to mention that, but I will leave a note down below in my description box just to let you know how this one wore. Sorry, let me show you like a close up of this quad so you can get a sense of this color story. Uh, this one is definitely the most pink, the most mauve, uh, the softest, if you will, out of the five that he has recently come out with. Um, here are some swatches and I just went from lightest to darkest. And so in this quad, we have three mattes and we have one kind of like satin shimmer. What I will point out to you is in this satin shimmer here, I hope you guys can see that. I do feel like I am like getting a little bit of hard pan, like right there. I don't feel like it has necessarily alter the like pigmentation or appearance or like ease of picking up but i i don't know like if that gets a little bit worse i don't know what's going to happen and i went and looked at the noir fume and the de la creme because those both have some shimmer shades in there and i didn't see it on that one i feel like i'm seeing this kind of like shiny spot flat shiny spot in this pan and not the other satin ones. So hopefully that won't get any worse, but I'll have to follow up with you on that one. So in terms of this quad specifically, 
I feel like this is Tom Ford's answer to the Pillow Talk quad um, and the popularity of this kind of like pinky, peachy eyeshadow look like, you know, Pat McGrath coming out with the Divine Rose. And this is obviously a trend that we've been seeing that we'll probably see going into 2020. But what I appreciate about this one is this has like a cooler kind of undertone, especially these two matte shades down here. I feel like this quad is what I wanted Pillow Talk to be. The issue I had with Pillow Talk, and I've talked about this before, is what I see in the pan, I feel like doesn't necessarily uh, show up on my lids. It ends up becoming much warmer. It's almost like my skin oxidizes it or, or just becomes oxidized once I apply it, where these I feel like are very, very true to color. This one obviously is a little peachier, so that's gonna give you a peachy tinge. But these two colors stayed very, very neutral, almost cool toned. And I used that kind of on the outer corner into my crease, and I was so happy. I was really paying attention to see if these shades were going to turn a little peachier, and they didn't. So I'm very, very happy with with that and like the three other quads I feel like these shades just performed really beautifully for me they blended out beautifully they applied beautifully and I'm really really happy with it I think just by looking at this quad is a tip off that you're going to get like a fairly soft look and I think this is absolutely great for every day this is one of those quads I would say kind of um, is more like make mirage. It's very daytime appropriate. I think it's very workplace appropriate. I don't think you're gonna like set the world on fire with your eyeshadow look uh, when you put this on, but I think it's really, really beautiful. And if you're into these kind of like mauvey pinky shades, I think you're gonna really love this one. The Mink Mirage is like so neutral that this is kind of like the feminine, pretty, like girly version of that. Of course it has a satin shade too, which Mink Mirage doesn't have, but like the De La Creme and the Noir Fumé, I think those two quads can work for both daytime and evening. You know, if you like to kind of get your eye a little bit smokier, a little bit more dramatic, I think both of those quads can do it. I just don't think that you can do that with this quad. The deepest shade in here, at least for me on my skin tone, is just a little bit too light. And you'll see in my demo that I've been using uh, in the other three quads, like the deepest shade to like line my eyes. And I just couldn't do that with this one. It's just too light. I use it on my outer corner just to add a little bit of dimension. Again, if you're not looking for like a super dramatic eye, I think it's great for that. So I actually went in with some eyeliner versus using like the darkest shade in the quad. I don't even know if I would consider that a negative. It's just something that I wanted to point out to you guys that there just isn't anything for me deep enough for eyeliner. All right, let's do some uh, comparisons to some existing quads uh, in my Tom Ford collection. Collection. I don't, again, I didn't find anything that was like an exact dupe or anything. In fact, a lot of the quads uh, that I have of his that, again, I thought maybe could work uh, were a lot like pinkier. Uh, anyway, let me go ahead and show you the ones that I pulled out to compare to this Sula Sablo. Okay, so like I said, none of these are very close, but uh, you know, it's like in my mind's eye, I always feel like I remember things differently. And then I open it up and I'm like, oh, that's like not even close. But I thought I would just share with you uh, some that I thought maybe were similar because maybe you're thinking the same thing. Um, but here it is next to Iris Bronze, which I think is probably one of the closest ones, but you'll see it's quite different. So this one is Iris Bronze. It's a little bit deeper, a little bit more dramatic. And I feel like this one could go from day to night where I feel like this one really just kind of stays very daytime. This one is Pretty Baby. I knew it wasn't gonna be similar, but I thought it was gonna be a little bit closer, but here is Pretty Baby. And I love this quad. I think this quad is so pretty. This one was definitely kind of like a sleeper for me. I got it, didn't think much of it. I was like, oh, you know, it's pretty, whatever. And then I started using it more and more and it's it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, it's not, not close at all. <laughs> Not close at all to Sula Sabla. And then here it is next to Virgin Orchid. Virgin Orchid is like a cooler color story, but it's also like a completely different uh, formula. This is that wet dry formula. But this is the one I thought would probably be the closest to this, but it's so much cooler in tone. Like it has the lilacs, it has like that straight up pink over here. And this one doesn't have that. You know, next to the Virgin Orchid, it almost looks warm toned, but yeah, it's just, they're just different. And then this one, I don't know. This one kind of surprised me. Maybe it'll surprise you too. But here is Disco Dust. And it's actually kind of similar. Disco Dust obviously has that deeper shade in there. But if you take that away, I don't know. There's a little bit of similarity there. But as a whole, 
in terms of these two quads, I do think they're they're quite different. And then here is Seductive Rose, which much like the Virgin Orchid, it's so pinky and purpley, it almost makes this one look like a warm toned palette. But yeah, I thought these two would be closer as well, but not really. All right, so that's it for the quads that I thought maybe could be similar, but really none of them are. So again, I am really enjoying this quad along with the others that I've tried. I'm really excited to try and review the arabesque for you soon. So keep an eye out for that video, but let's go ahead and jump into the demo of this quad. All right, I've got my Sonia G Crease 2 brush. I'm gonna go into this uh, mid-tone matte shade and I'm gonna start to apply that into the socket line area, you know, same same deal socket line area and my outer corner and just start to kind of build up a little dimension here all right so there's a nice transition shade i'm happy to report that this color is not turning kind of like peach on my skin which was what i was a little bit afraid of which has happened to me a lot with shades that look like this <laughs> in the pan, but it ends up looking a lot peachier on the lid. So anyway, it's not doing that, which is great. Next, I'm gonna take my Worker One brush from Sonia G and go into this uh, shimmery shade, the only shimmery shade in here, and apply this all over my lid. So there's that peachy shimmery shade on the lid. It's very pretty. And I think it is very, very accurate to what I see in the pan. I'm gonna go back to my crease two brush and go into the lightest matte shade here and just use this to blend out that top edge and kind of highlight underneath my eyebrow. And then I'm gonna take my Sony G Blender Pro brush, go into the darkest matte shade in here and just add this to the outer corner and just drag it in. All right, so there are the four shades applied to my lid. There's nothing deep enough in this palette, unlike the other three I've already talked about, that I can use as eyeliner. I just don't think that this one is like deep enough for me. So I'm gonna apply some eyeliner, mascara, basically finish up my look and I'll be right back. All right, here is my final look. Again, I'm really happy with this quad. I think it is just that really like a beautiful kind of like pinky, peachy, slightly mauve kind of quad. And like I mentioned in my demo, I really think that they stay true to color, which is the biggest deal for me. I always feel like some something about this color story always ends up kind of like turning on my eyelid. And I feel like they stay really, really true, which is fantastic. And I thought they blended out beautifully. Anyway, I gave you my whole review at the beginning, so I will let you guys go, but definitely um, stay tuned for uh, my next video, which will be about the Arabesque Quad. And don't forget to check the description box on notes on how this eyeshadow wore. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. So definitely check my notes on that. I will let you know, and that's it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.